friends, John LaRufa here, and today on Rules Speed Through, we are going to take a look at this little game, Town Center, specifically the solo version of this little game. Very simple game to play, but some of the rules are a little bit wonky as far as how things expand. So I wanted to do this um, video to help with that and kind of show what to do. Let's go ahead and get going without any further delay. Okay, so here's the game set up. You've got your player board. I'm just using the basic setup right here. Um, you're gonna go ahead and take the cubes for the solo game um, at this number, and you're gonna add all of these to the drafting bag. And then you're gonna have this little player aid here that doubles also as a, an income calculator. It tells you the sequence of play, what the different things are, and also tracks your income and finally your points at the end. It all is in here, um, tells you what to do, and that's really helpful. So we put that over here and we start on this little spot right there, and then we are ready to begin the game. So we start with phase one, and in phase one, in a solo player game, you're gonna draw three cubes out of the bag and then you're gonna choose one of those cubes to put back in the bag, okay? And then you're gonna use these two cubes that you've drawn for phase two. Now, as you started the game, you're supposed to choose a spot to put this um, home office or this uh, regulatory building right there, your, your um, city hall, pardon me. It's gonna go anywhere. It can go anywhere in the center of the uh, board, but it cannot go into the suburb spots and it has to go on the first level. Then from there on in, uh, you're going to build uh, around that uh, tile or the, around that cube um, with whatever you you end up choosing from the bag and then the industry is going to expand um, in uh, certain ways. So first and foremost, in the second phase, you're going to be able to place the, t the cubes that you got um, on this area out here or over here or in any of the um, areas stacked depending on your elevator height. So let's talk about some building rules um, right now. First and foremost, these are your power plants, the utility buildings. You could build these anywhere. There is no restriction for where they go, and they will power everything that is adjacent to it, orthogonally adjacent in this case. So that would be anything in these spots right here, plus anything um, directly above it or directly below it if it was placed on the second um, spot. So that is the rules for placing the yellow. For placing the black, you must put them on a ground level. They can never be put on top of anything. If they're on the ground level by themselves, they are called a parking garage and they will generate income. They'll generate $1 for every cube that is orthogonally adjacent to them. They are not allowed to be built in the suburbs. That is illegal. And again, you cannot build them on top of any existing building. If they are powered, you are allowed to build a second block on them and they become an elevator. It must be a black block. Now they don't generate money, but they allow you to build up to a level equal to the amount of elevation on this block. So if I had a situation like this later in the game, I would be able to build up to three levels. The maximum level for an elevator is five. You're not allowed to build any higher than this. That would be the tallest that the elevator could be. If you are placing down during the construction phase, now this is phase two, a green block, it can go anywhere you want. It can even go in these suburbs spots over here. The only rule is, is it cannot go next to an existing green building. So this would be an illegal placement if I was to place that during the construction phase. The blue cubes are similar. They can go anywhere you want. They don't require power at the beginning. Um, when you put them down, they cannot go next to another blue space. So that would be illegal during the construction phase, but completely uh, possible later on as it expands. Um, and again, anything um, next to each other like this, this would not be illegal. Even though that it is orthogonally adjacent, it is not at the same level, so that is legitimate. Something like this would also be okay to do. Okay, so that has to do with the construction phases. You also might find that you're going to construct these office buildings. If you construct an office building, it can go anywhere um, that you want to You put it. It um, costs $5 immediately to place down. That's the only building in, in phase number two that costs money to place. And that, are the, that has to do with all of the construction building placements in phase two as far as where things can go. Now, phase three is where it gets a little bit complicated. Um, basically, what's happening in phase three is your residential and then your commercial buildings are going to expand. They expand simultaneously, okay? And here's how it works. First and foremost, if your, and it could be either way, I said residential and commercial, but that's not true. 
Um, it, can, it can happen in either direction. So if your commercial buildings are next to other residential districts, they will expand. So for instance, in this case, if this commercial building was next to more than its number of cubes that it has in it, it would be able to expand. So here, this is a level one by itself because it is next to two different uh, residential areas. You can put a second level orthogonally adjacent to it in any spot. Now, if this was the case right here, this is still one district and another district. So this still is two. Now on a later turn, you could not expand this again because it is still two. In order for it to be a three, it would have to have another adjacent orthogonal um, residential district that is separate from the other one. So in this case, we have one, two, three of these now in the way it's placed. This would be able to expand again. You could put it up here, okay? Or you could put it over here or over here because all those would be orthogonally adjacent. You could even put it out here, although that would be worth minus one point at the end of the game if you placed things over here. It also should be noted that the placement level for anything in the suburbs is maximum one. You cannot build a second level in any of the suburb spots, no matter how tall your elevator is. Okay, so that is how the commercial buildings expand. The residential buildings expand based on how many different individual office cubes and your city hall building counts as an office that they're adjacent to. So in this case, this is adjacent to one. It cannot expand any further. This is also adjacent to one, can't expand any further. However, if you had a situation like this, this now would be adjacent to two, one here on the bottom and one here on the side. And so this could grow again. If it grows just like the blue ones and it touches another green district, it all forms one large district, okay? So they can merge together. The blue can do the exact same thing. If there was an existing blue district someplace on the board and it expanded into it, it would also form that additional district. So in the case of the green, it is the number of office cubes that the green is adjacent to. So it, if it was like this right here, let's just say, all right, we have one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four. So I have four here. This could not expand anymore unless another one was somehow put in this area. And if it was, then you'd be able to expand again. Okay, so those are kind of tough to do. Um, and again, here it has to do with, with the blue, how many specific individual districts of green are next to it. So in this case, there's one, two, it cannot expand. However, if there was one more out here, three, it would be able to expand and it has to expand adjacently like that or up on top. And so that's the most confusing part of the game, I think, as far as how does this expand when you're doing phase number three. Now in phase four, we generate income. So how you generate income is based on this chart right here. So first and foremost, you're always going to generate $1 for your city hall. Then you're going to generate $1 for each adjacent cube next to your parking lot. So this is a parking lot that is not, that is an elevator. In this case, one, two, three dollars, okay, for that. Then you figure out how many commercial buildings have utilities or power, and those then generate based on the chart over here, based on their size and their height. In this case, there is no power to any of the commercial buildings, so that would generate nothing. However, if I had a power facility like this, it would power all three of these, all right? Now, for instance, I'm going to say this is the situation. This is a size one, two, three, four blue, and it is up on the third height. So we look at this, we look at size is four, height is three, that's 13 right there. That's how much money you get. So you use this table from a size and a height standpoint to tell you what is the number of dollars generated by powered commercial buildings. And that's how you generate your income. When you generate that, you add it to whatever you had in the beginning um, and you keep track of the income around the corner there. And that is phase four. Now in phase five, you are allowed to buy additional power plants or additional black cubes, which you can use for garages or for your elevator. Okay, and the way that works is you must pay a specific amount of money depending on the number of cubes that are already on the board. So in this case, I already have one, two, three, four black cubes. If I wanted to buy a fifth one, then I would have to pay 
$20 for my, I'm sorry, I'd have to pay $25 because the first one is five. So I'd have to pay $25 for um, this cube. And of course, it couldn't go there. I'd have to either go on the elevator like this or I'd have to go, um, well, in this case, the only legal place would be on the elevator. Same thing for the utility buildings for um, here. Since I already have two of them, the first one would have been five, the second one 10, this is 15. Now note, when you place these during the construction phase in number two, you don't have to pay that money. It's only, you're only paying that money when you're placing them from the reserve over here in phase five, okay? So that's a little bit different as far as when you can build those. And you can only buy one yellow or one black from the reserve during that turn. You cannot buy one of each. You can't buy multiple. It's one or the other during phase five. So the game is played in 10 rounds. After the 10th round, you're going to go ahead and calculate your score. Your score is calculated based on this right here. First and foremost, you lose one point for every cube you have in the suburbs, okay? Secondly, you're going to gain one point for each for every $5 you have at the end of the game in income, you're going to gain a point. Then you're going to gain based on the number of powered commercial cubes, I'm sorry, powered residential cubes that you have. So just like this, you're going to score, just like the other one um, when we did the commercial, you're going to score this situation right here. So this right now, there's only one of these powered. So if that was the case, then I would score size one, height one, one point, that would be it. That'd be very poor. But let's say I had a situation where I had a power cube over here. If that was true, then I would have one, two, three, four, that's size four, height of two, that would be 11 points to score like that. So in this case, I'd have 11 plus one, which would be 12 from those standpoints right there. And so the scoring is fairly simple. The real challenge is the uh, phase three in the expansion. So hopefully that helps you figure out how to play. If you're playing solo, they give you this nice little sheet to see how you're doing. I found it's a tough game to play um, to get a good score. You really have to understand what you're doing. There is a lot of um, little things to it that, that can help with the expansion and the building. There's also a park you can play with over here. That's a whole different setup as far as how to actually do this. And it gives you some directions on how to play with it. You basically put all your cubes out. And as you select cubes, you move them back in the line. So it's kind of an interesting variant, but I'm not going to get into it here. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, my name is John LaRuffa, and this has been a rule speed through of Town Center. And I've been using the fourth edition of this game. Thank you very much. I hope that was good.